with a record-breaking summer for concerts. We love Taylor! And at the height of football season, there's an effort underway to modernize how venues keep fans safe. Here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, home of the Atlanta Falcons, this $1.6 billion facility is full of technology, like a robotic security dog and a biometric system that scans faces rather than tickets. And most of the nearly 70,000 people here on game day do not realize they have just been searched for weapons. Did you realize that you were being screened for, for weapons today? No. No, I didn't realize not that. No. These evolved scanners use AI to detect the specific magnetic signature of a firearm and ignore phones and keys. You see the lights on the back stay green. Unless there's an alert, they go red, and then that shows up on the screen for the operator. Today, the system pulls aside the head of security, who's carrying a fake gun for our benefit, and points staff at the exact spot on his body. It's not just this guy. It is this guy, right side, hip. Exactly. That's the benefit of the AI. Without frisking, wands, or lines, Evolve says their scanners can screen thousands of people an hour. And while Evolve screenings are not as thorough as airport security, one of the goals here is to keep people moving. We have about 700 school buildings using our technology, and the idea of being able to be screened but also get to your desk and be ready for the school bell is really, really important. That we should be able to live in a society where that can happen. Evolve has had trouble detecting certain kinds of knives, but Mercedes-Benz Stadium's vice president of security says that is not his top concern. I'm not as worried about grandpa's knife. We have the resources to deal with that. In reality, we're looking for what we say, the bang and boom. A, a firearm, fire an explosive. Yeah. Venues are trying to find the balance between convenience and safety, and ticket holders here are also trying to determine where they draw the line. Like, are you used to waiting in line at a facility? Yeah, the line is quicker. Yeah, it's more expeditious. Now, of course, regulating firearms is always a very hot button issue. And, you know, regardless of your stance, this is the thing, right? We're in this singular American moment, right, where people want to be able to lawfully own a firearm, yep. but they do not want to go to a game where people are carrying those firearms, mm -hmm. and they do not want to stand in line. And it's That's those true. three things together, right, yeah. that have come together to make this kind of technology possible. Now, they say it doesn't work all the time. Nothing is 100% safe. Mm -hmm. It also misses some knives every so often, but they say knives are not a problem we're worried about. We can handle that. We can, you know, what we care about is explosives and firearms, and this thing does an amazing so job effect. at doing that. A layered effect and much, much better than a metal detector. And I imagine the technology will just get better over time as well. That's right. It gets, it gets, it basically teaches any one stadium that has a, a somebody walks through, all of the stadiums are learning because the AI is learning. Like oh, I love you said, oh my you said uh, you're probably going through it at a number of places, but you don't even realize. Well, they can build it right into the architecture, and you would never even I'm know here for it, it on that okay. one. No, thank yeah. you, Jay. Appreciate thank it. You, appreciate Jay. it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.